It's Rahul Gamir, Punch Out Boxing. I am here with heavyweight prodigy and soon to be top contender if things go well on Friday night. Justice Hooney, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, yeah, feeling excited for Friday night. Can't wait to get in there and uh, back under the bright lights. Yeah, as I said, you're a bit of a prodigy. Uh, we spoke last time you uh, were on that big Cancun show, but the ante has been upped by your team. You're now on the top table. Saudi Arabia, we know that's where it all goes on for top heavyweights. So your team obviously got a lot of faith in you. Um, did you feel that after dealing with Tabiti uh, so comprehensively, you really want to be in there in the mix amongst the top contenders? Yeah, look, I'm... Um... Just grateful to be able to, you know, take part in this uh, massive card that's gone down here on Friday night. Um, you know, it's a big step up for myself uh, being on a card this big so early in my uh, career. So, you know, just um, very blessed and thankful to be able to, you know, perform at this level so early in my career. Yeah, not even 10 fights in. Um almost unique amongst uh, heavyweight prospects. You haven't fought anyone with a losing record yet. Um, so, yeah, a testament to your abilities. Um, rank number 14 yep. in the world. And a win over Lorena, it really sort of positions you for, I guess, the post Usyk era, which I guess is coming to an end this year. Yep. Yeah, look, I'm... I'm just continuing my journey and, uh, you know, I take it one fight at a time, slowly build myself up there. And, you know, hopefully, like you said, I'm, I fall in the in the top 10 and I can start contending against these other um, top heavyweights that are around at the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, South Africa against Oz is always a great uh, Southern Hemisphere uh, duel. Usually in the rugby, but it's great to see it in the boxing as well. Um, <laughs> you know, Lorraine has, uh, he's no mug, uh, only been uh, beaten by a couple of top guys. And, you know, we know how hard Daniel Dubois can hit. And he, he took him out um, in at Tottenham Stadium. I was there, but uh, gave him an almighty scare. So, uh, yeah, what, what you yeah, expect? Yeah, um, yeah, look, he's very explosive. Uh, he's a front foot fighter. He comes forward. So, you know, I've got to be cautious and, you know, make sure I'm on point and, um, you know, my defense is always up and, you know, ready to, um, you know, defend anything that comes back at me. So, uh, yeah, I'll be on my, on my best, uh, on the night and you know, I just can't wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I remember when we spoke last, we did mention how that maybe the era of the giant heavyweights, maybe it's it's run its course. Lorraine is a smaller heavyweight. Um, maybe that's what threw Dubois off. Uh, you you weary of that? He will be a, a little bit quicker and a bit more nimble than than the big lumbering giants. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, you know, I've focused a lot on my footwork in this camp, so. I'm going to be on my toes and um, very move and uh, you know whenever the whenever the time comes. So and I'll be on my best, like I said, and uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be ready to fire. I'll be ready to fire back. Mm -hmm. Is this the first Southpaw you fought as a pro? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so this is my first time coming up against Southpaw in the pro ranks. Uh, Fought a couple of southpaws in the amateurs, uh, so uh, I've done a lot of sparring, um, done a lot of work in this camp to, uh, you know, get used to going up against the southpaw, so yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, so uh, definitely something new that he's going to bring to you, if nothing else, the southpaw stance. Uh, how, how far um, along your development do you do you think you are uh, before you're ready for, say, some of the the guys who are at the top? Uh, when you, you and your coach look at, at your development, do you identify certain things that you think you you still got a way to go on in terms of your development? Yeah, I've, there's always there's always room for improvement. Like I still got a lot of learning to do. In this, well, I'm still young in this game, so 
Um, yeah, my time will come, but I feel I'm, you know, I, I don't really, I don't really care who I get in the ring with. Mm-hmm. I know when the time comes, I'll switch on and um, I'm able to adjust to any style that you know you put in front of me. So, um, yeah, like I said, I, I believe I'm still, still so young in this game, and uh, I've got a lot of learning to do. It doesn't stop though. There's always new things to improve on. Um, so yeah, I just keep taking it one fight at a time, and you know, hopefully my day comes soon where I'm at the sitting at the top. Mm-hmm. That said, uh, I know the main thing is you want to win, but uh, a couple of other fighters that have appeared on those Saudi cards uh, just spoke to my countryman Jack McGann. He got a big knockout, and that's why he got the invite back. Uh, at some level, is there a bit of uh, well, hey, we want to impress. Uh, we want to impress those uh, shakes. Uh, so yeah. that the invite back for the next season. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna, you know, have like a standout performance. Uh, this fight, um, get new eyes onto me, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, which has been good, you know, fighting, uh, in overseas and stuff. Get new eyes, new followers. So, you know. Like I said, one fight at a time, I'll, I'll slowly keep beating my way up and uh, you'll see me on the top of the mountain uh, someday soon. Yes, indeed. The, the way that Lorena gave uh, Dubois so much trouble, do you think that's an opportunity for you to make a statement as to where you are by putting in a much more sort of polished performance than he did? If, if you can go and say, yeah, handled him easier than Dubois, who's still ranked pretty pretty high. I think he's like ranked number four with the WBA. So. Yeah, he's still well up there. Yeah, it'll look. It, it'll be good to put on a a masterclass, and you know, just for me, I just wanna, I just wanna school Kevin Lorena come Friday, and I, I, I wanna, um, you know, put on a best performance for myself, and you know, obviously, like you said, there's gonna be a lot of eyes watching. Uh, so yeah, it's coming out to, you know, give everyone what they want to see. Mm-hmm. And what they haven't seen from me yet, so yeah, yeah. But I'm sure you're aware. Get that good win, then uh, the comfortable uh, days are over. Because from there on, it will be sort of contenders and progressively harder fights. Yeah, that's it, and that's where I want to be. Um, you know, leading into the future, I want to. I want to start taking these big fights. So, uh, you know, I got to get my name out there with this fight. Well, uh, let's see how how uh, Friday night goes for you. Just quickly, your views on the the two big uh, headliners, uh, of course, uh, Joe Parker, fellow Polynesian boy flying the flag. Can he? Uh, yep. His his resurgence is is really going well. Uh, fancy him to do a job on the big uh, Southpaw Zhang. Yeah, look, I uh, I think the you know Joe Parker has been looking the goods. Um, and he's coming along well. I think if he moves his feet and you know uses his speed to his advantage, he can get the job done. Um, but yeah, he's got a tough opponent in front of him, so uh, there's there's always that chance. All it takes is one punch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really dangerous fight and kudos to both men. Uh, what what about the headliner, um, Anthony Joshua, against a Big dangerous puncher in Ngannou. We still don't really know how good Ngannou is. What do you make of that one? Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna have to back Anthony Joshua on that fight. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he's he's also looking good, especially in his last fight. I thought he um I thought he looked really good. Uh, he was patient and he got the job done. So yeah, uh, I think AJ will get the job done on um, Friday night. All right, and of course, uh, yourself though you complete that heavyweight trio. Um, great to see the heavyweight division uh, finally moving, and you youngsters poised now to uh, take over from that old guard who, yeah, who dragged things out a, a bit long for us. So uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you perform out there on uh, Friday night. Pity I couldn't be there this Cheers, time, man. but hopefully at the next one. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for a bit of your time. Uh, anything you want to add? Oh, just tune in, tune in to anyone watching. Um, yeah, Friday night, it's gonna be massive. All right, 
Justice, absolute pleasure. We look forward to Friday night and hopefully uh, maybe seeing a big show uh, soon. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, bro.